everyone, Annette from Aussie Reborn Supplies and Miracle Babies Newborn Nursery. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about neutralising your kit. Now, um, some of you are beginners and you might think, what's neutralising a kit and what's all this about? It's confusing when people talk about it, you really don't know. Um, well, neutralising a kit is just to take the tone down of the colour they came and come with. As you see, I've got three kits here. I've got Asha, who's a biracial kit and is Mary's kit, if you're watching. Um, that's Asha, biracial. We've got Louisa here. Um, now, it, as you can see, it might be hard with the lighting, but it's a little bit more of an orangey tone to it, peachy orangey tone. And then we've got Kimba, um, just one of your regular bountiful baby kits. And as you can see, it's quite pale in comparison to the other two. So now you don't have to neutralize. I guess it's each to their own. And, and for those who do neutralize, don't, you know, say I'm doing it wrong. You know, like I, I really, if the, if, if the end result looks awesome, how can it be wrong? So personally, I don't ever neutralize my kits. And that's just because um, I tend to, you know, make up the layers as I go. So if I find that when I'm working with, you know, say this one, I find that it's still too um, orange or peachy, well then I'm going to, I will kind of neutralize it. I will do a color that will counteract or, or tone it down. So if I had too much red in a kit, well then I'm going to tone it down with a couple of flesh tones over the top. You know, because they're all translucent layers, you can really sort of you know, work on them. I mean, I do around 20 layers on my kit, so I'm not mucking around. I'm making sure that, you know, I think they look pretty good. But anyway, for those who want to neutralize, go for it. Go for it, you know, why not? You know, so you might want to get one of these color wheels. Now I have them for sale um, at Aussie Reborn Supplies on the website. Um, you'll see the little website come along. Um, I think in Australian they are around eleven ninety five or something. That includes postage in Australia. If they're going to be posted anywhere else in the world, it's going to be two dollars eighty five postage. So it's really quite cheap. Um, I think I've seen them overseas, and they cost even more than what I charge. So um, anyone in the world can get them. So this is what it looks like. You've got your colour wheel. Um, once again, I apologize. I do apologise if the lighting isn't correct. Um, I just wanted to sort of be in here today and um, do a quick video because I've got someone coming and um, I wanted to be able to do the best to show you everything. So you can see the colour wheel there. Obviously, uh, being a colour wheel, you're able to move things around. Um, to, to help assist you with your colour, so to speak. You will know it once you, once you get it to, you know, what, what you want. Anyway, so it's really, really cool, <laughs> I can just say. Basically, um, you look at your outer colours. So there, let's say we've got orange for this, this colour. You could say, um, just hope everyone can see that, that's why I'm sort of stopping. So as you can see, we've got orange. So you need to look at opposite color from orange. And the opposite color from orange is blue. So if I wanted to tone down the orange in this kit, I'd be using a translucent blue color. So that would be if, um, um, if I was using heat set paints, I would use maybe a, a filio, or what do you call it, phyllo blue um, with the, odorless thinners so just translucent and obviously if you were using air dry um, well there's a lot of different types of paints in air dry but if I was using the luminaire um, I, I might go with the ultramarine blue or I might even go with vein blue because you know I'm making it translucent so I'm going to mix that with water and tone it down. Um, for the biracial one well they don't actually have like brown or anything on there but if you use like a red or maybe a red orange, you'll see that the other color is green. So you would use some type of green tone. And once again, you know, well, especially the beauty with heat set paints, I could put like a green toning all that over that to tone it down. And um, if I didn't like it, I can just take it off. I can wipe it off before I set it. So that's like, is the beauty of heat set paints. Um, 
I am going to be toning this one down probably ever so slightly only because um, Mary, the lady who's getting this baby, um, has asked for more of a, you know, like a cappuccino coffee sort of colour, milky coffee. Um, not dark, dark, you know, so I'm not going dark chocolate sort of look, you know. So um, there won't be a lot of layers needed to, to make that, but, you know, then you've got all your, your shading and everything. We'll bring that up. And with little Kimber here, whoops, um, because she's really pale, you're looking at, you know, she's more of a you know, really light yellow type of thing. And and the opposite to yellow is violet or the blue violet. Um, so I would just be doing another blue wash sort of over her. Um, but when we say colour wheel, people might say, oh, you know, what am I doing? You know, like, what what is the wheel in the middle for? Now, I do want to show you that one. I'm really scared it's not working, but it probably is. It's probably just my imagination. I will show you. I'm just going to have a look back at the clip and see how bad it is, whether I have to redo this all or not. Hang on. Okay, so I didn't find it too bad, but I thought I would just, whoops, get behind the camera here and show you the wheel so you can see it a little bit more up close and personal. So um, I thought, like, if you look at the yellow at the top, I know th that is finding it hard to focus in. But if you turn this middle section, so if I turn that blue part, it says what happens if I add blue. So obviously yellow and blue make green. Okay, so this one is adding white. You know, what happens to green, yellow green, if I add white? Well, it's going to turn into like an earth earth mint green type of thing. So that's what the color wheel's for, like um, looking if you add. So if I add white to blue, I'm going to get like a, a more of a primrose blue, like that. And as you can see, the opposites. So at the blue at the top, if I opposite that, it's going to be orange. So if I get a blue kit, I'm going to have, have to add orange to it to bring it down to more of a realistic tone. And then you've got the colors at the back, and that's what they say, you know, like with the blue. Uh, sorry, with the brown. So see at the bottom of the blood orange, or red orange there, you can see that there's a brown. So that means that that is my opposite color. So, um, you know, the blue green would be the opposite to the brown. Okay, so that's the deal on my color wheel. <laughs> I've just got Biscuit out. Um, I've had a customer or one of you subscribers, Nikki, and the cats are trying to get it at the moment. Nikki um, from the UK has uh, requested that I bring Biscuit out because Biscuit is always talking in the backgrounds of my video. And he's thinking, what's going on here? He just wants to get up, but his wings aren't cut at the moment and I don't want him to fly around and get hurt. Poor little bugger. So Nikki, here is Biscuit. He's still here. He's still a good boy. Um, but as he gets older, like even when I cut his wings, he still flies around and hurts himself. So unfortunately he doesn't come out as much as he used to, which is really, really sad because he's really nice companion to have around. Aren't you, mate? Hey? You like that? You like that? That's such a good boy. That's a good boy. So anyway, um, I hope that the neutralizing video helped everyone. Um, just to get that sense of, you know, what it is all about and what people are talking about. Sometimes it can be really confusing, can't it? Um, I am going to, like I said, I am going to neutralize my biracial. Now I've got to go collect the bird. He's got to hit himself. Don't worry, guys. He's all right. But see what I mean? I can't bring him out because he just wants to fly and... I feel sorry for him because I'd love to let him fly around, but he just normally hurts himself and ends up with a blood nose or something. So um, I can't let him out too much, but he's still lovely. He's a good boy. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I am going to be neutralizing my Asher kit. I'll just talk with Biscuit because he's happier when I don't talk about the actual kits. Maybe he doesn't like Reborns. Do you like Reborns? Are you racist against Reborns? Maybe. 
Maybe. <laughs> Betty. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Anyway, <laughs> this is a bit long-winded, isn't it? So well, I'm thinking about neutralizing baby Asha and um, I will be starting all of my more tutorials in the new year and that's when I'll be doing things like that. So um, just keep watching and if you have any questions about the color wheel or about neutralizing your kit, please post it below and um, I'll answer in any way I can. So say goodbye to Biscuit. Bye Biscuit. I'm gonna put him back because he's a naughty boy. He's a naughty boy. Okay, so um, next I wanted to talk about Christmas. No, I know that's stupid. Why do I do that? Anyway, <laughs> um, my Christmas giveaway, as everyone knows, the lollipop and pacifier giveaway, there was three winners, which was super duper duper cool. Um, unfortunately, one of those winners didn't come forward in the time. And um, so I have to, had to do a bit of a redraw. And the person who came out on the redraw um, was Kerry G. Kerry G, um, you know me, always chatting to me, you've always been on my channel, and I appreciate you always being there. And I've got the gift box here, sitting here waiting for you to send to you. Um, so if you could um, message me or email me, um, and I, then I can send it off to you. That would be really cool. So congratulations, I'd like to get that off you know, in the next day or two, so I can, hopefully it will arrive to you by Christmas. You never know. Um, so everyone, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to do another video next week. The uh, videos over the next couple of weeks might be a little bit not on time and stuff because I'm up, the kids are on school holidays, so it makes it really hard to get out the video and to be able to do it without being disturbed. It's fairly early in the morning here at the moment, so they're sleeping. Um, so that's really good. Um, but don't forget, New Year, I'm going to be having lots more tutorials. So I hope you'll be with me then. And have a Merry Christmas and a really, really happy New Year. And make all your resolutions for 2017 come true. Uh, I know my resolution, I'm going to try. Anyway, my re re resolution, if anyone wants to know, is to lose weight. Ugh. Now, I know people will say, what do you need to lose weight? But I just feel a little bit uncomfortable in myself at the moment. Um, I don't want to lose a heap of weight. I just want to get a little bit toned up. Um, so that is my New Year's, New, Year's Res my New Year's resolution. It's been my New Year's resolution for the last three or four years. <laughs> so let's see if in 2017 I can actually make it happen. I hope I can. <laughs> I want to fit back in all my lovely cute clothes. Maybe I should just accept I'm getting old. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm carrying on today. It's really crazy. Bye from me, bye from my kids, bye from Biscuit Biscuit, say goodbye. <coughs> nah, I'm on talk. Pissed off at me now, it's gone back. Anyway, okay, bye guys. Sorry for being so silly. I'll talk to you later. See ya.